This episode of Ties Out Help is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the iPhone 6, covering all the rumors to give you an idea of what it's possibly going to be like. So what you're seeing in my hand right now is what's supposed to be a case for the new iPhone 6. By the way, shout out to Sonny Dixon who hooked me up with this case. There's been so many rumors of what size the iPhone 6 screen could be, uh, but here lately there's been one that stood out above all the others, and that is actually that Apple is going to make two different size versions of the iPhone 6, a 4.7 inch model and then a 5.5 inch model. The 4.7 inch version of the iPhone 6 is said to come out sometime in September, uh, whereas the 5.5 inch version will actually be delayed a little bit, uh, not come out until sometime in early 2015. Wow, it is going to be 2015 soon. That just blows my mind. Just to back up the rumor of a bigger iPhone 6 coming, uh, even more is that Apple's even came out and said that they realize now that consumers want a bigger smartphone. When in the past, they said that Apple's not going to do a bigger smartphone. Well, now it looks like they are. So if those rumors are correct and Apple actually is going to make two different size versions of the iPhone 6, uh, the rumored resolution is going to be uh, 1,334 by 750 at 226 pixels per inch for the 4.7 inch model and then for the 5.5 inch model it's supposed to have a resolution of 1920 uh, by 1080 at 401 pixels per inch. Since iPhone 6 is going to be bigger and probably have a different resolution unless they scale it right uh, that means that all the developers that have made apps for the previous model iPhones and iPods stuff like that are going to have to update their apps to fit this new resolution. The screen won't just be bigger than the iPhone 6 though it's also going to be more durable. I uh, said that Apple's working with this company called GT Advance uh, to bring down the price so they can make a sapphire screen uh, for the iPhone 6, just like the home button uh, is in the iPhone 5S. That'll make it more durable and pretty much completely scratch resistant. I watched a video of a guy taking a rock uh, to a sapphire screen on an iPhone and it withstood it with no scratches at all. Along with the bigger screen, the iPhone 6 is also supposed to have an all new, thinner design. I was supposed to be more like the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now, I don't have the iPod Touch 5G with me. Now, was something interesting about this iPhone 6 case, uh, which you can actually see over an Unbox Therapies video, which I'm showing for you now, uh, is that the iPod Touch 5G actually fits perfectly in this case, or at least as far as the thickness. It even shows it like lining up with the volume buttons, uh, which as you see, the volume buttons on the iPhone 6 case are saying that it's going to be different uh, than what it is currently. Rather than the round buttons, it's going to have the like long, uh, like oval shaped buttons uh, that is on the iPod Touch 5G. Now obviously this iPhone 6 case is a little bit bigger than the iPod Touch 5G, uh, but I think that's just interesting to know that the iPhone 6 may uh, be as thin as the iPod Touch 5th generation, which is only 6.1 millimeters. While currently the iPhone 5S is 7.6 millimeters, so that's a pretty big difference. So if you don't know what the iPhone 6 design is going to look like, I just look at the iPod Touch 5th generation and imagine it this size. Putting the iPhone 5S inside the iPhone 6 case, uh, you can just see how much bigger it's going to be with all the extra space around it, and then if you put it beside it, you can actually see uh, just how much thinner it's going to be. And that's just the case. The iPhone 6 actually has to fit down inside of that. And you can see it here beside my Galaxy S5, uh, which is just a bit bigger, but about the same thickness. And again, that's just the case, not the iPhone. Also notice how in this case, the power button is actually on the right side of the device uh, rather than the top like the previous iPhones. Now as far as the processor in the iPhone 6, uh, it's supposed to have Apple's new A8 chip, uh, which is going to be a 64-bit quad-core processor uh, and quad-core graphics, but unfortunately, uh, only one gig of RAM just like the A7 chip. The camera in the iPhone 6 is likely to stay the same and be 8 megapixels just like in the iPhone 5S, uh, but they'll probably add a few improvements here and there. Uh, one of those improvements are rumored to be uh, optic or or possibly electronic uh, image stabilization. A few other improvements or new features the iPhone 6 may also feature uh, is a pressure, humidity, and temperature sensors, uh, as well as possibly faster Wi-Fi technology. Buying razors suck, right? You have to go to the store, you have to get it out of a plastic container, and then you pay 20 bucks for a razor that has all kinds of tech and crap you don't really need in it. We just want a razor that works. Thankfully, there's a company out there that's making this process much easier, and it's called Dollar Shave Club, and it couldn't be simpler. For just a few bucks a month, Dollar Shave Club will ship amazing razors and other bathroom stuff straight to your door, and their blades are just as good as the other big shave companies at a fraction of the price. They've also got Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter to make your shave even more buttery smooth. And you have to try the new One Wipe Charlies. They are peppermint infused butt wipes for men. 
they actually make your butt tingle and it seriously makes your butt feel clean. Now that my butt didn't before, shave time, shave money, and join now at dollarshaveclub.com slash tie. Now as much as I like all this stuff to be true, uh, this is just rumor, so none of this stuff is actually really confirmed by Apple. Uh, it's all just speculation, uh, but uh, it does give you a good idea, hopefully, of what you can expect to see in the iPhone 6. So if all these rumors of the iPhone 6 are true, and uh, that's actually what it's going to be like, uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Uh, is Apple too late to the game to make a bigger smartphone? Should they have done it a long time ago? I think so, uh, but is it too late for them to get into it? Uh, and will you actually be interested in getting the iPhone 6? And if you do, and they actually do make two different sizes, a 4.7 and a 5.5 inch model, uh, which one would you go for? So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, click the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel right there uh, so you don't miss any of my future tech videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.